Welcome back to Explained in Minutes series. Today we are not going to discuss about any particular Python package, but instead we are going to see the dictionary concept in Python. We will be covering the complete dictionary concept in Python with examples. With that note, welcome to ASA Learning. And now let's create a dictionary. We are going to see all the concepts that is involved in a dictionary object one by one. To create a dictionary in Python, you need to specify the curly braces. This indicates it is a dictionary object in Python. Let's name the dictionary object as DCN. And if I give equals the curly braces, this means this is a dictionary object in Python. So generally the dictionary object will have a key and a value associated with it. So a key will have a value which is called as a key value pair in dictionary. For example, let's create two key value pairs. Let's consider this is the key one. If you want to associate a value to this key, you need to have the colon and give the value. I'll give it as value one. So here the key one has the value one. To create an another key, do it as a comma separated. So again, I'll name it as key two colon value two. If I run this cell, the dictionary object is created. So it contains two keys, key one and key two. The value of key one is value one. The value of key two is value two. As simple as that. If you want to check the type of this object, it will return you it as a dictionary object. So type of DCN gives you ticked, which is a dictionary object in Python. And now it is really simple to access a value from any given key. For example, if you want to get the value of key one, all you have to do is call this dictionary object and you need to open a square bracket. You need to specify the key here. If you want to get the value of key one, just open a square bracket and give the key name here. If I run this cell, it will return me the value of this particular key. And do note that I have given the data type of the key and value as string here. It can be a number or it can be a list. Let's create another dictionary now. I'll name another dictionary as ACDCN. Don't forget the curly braces to create a dictionary object. This indicates the key A has the value one. So one here is a number. The key B has a value which is a list. This list has three values, two, three and four. And this is the third key. See, this has a value as a list which contains three values. If I run this cell, ASADSN is a dictionary object. So this contains three key value pairs. And now consider if you want to print this string here, which is three, this list value is associated with key C here. So as we did above, all we have to do is call this dictionary object, open a square bracket and specify your key. So if I print this one, I'll get a list of values, which is two, three and four. But our requirement is to print only the three, which is the second element here. As this is a list, we can open an another square bracket. And this is the second item in this list. And the index starts from zero. So I'll give it as one. And this is how you deal with a list of values from any given key. We can also perform arithmetic operations for any value from any key. Again, let's take the above dictionary object, ASA DSN. Here we have the second key, which is B. These three are numbers. For example, if you want to minus one from this particular three, so three minus one, which gives you two here, I'm going to minus one in the second element. I have given minus one here, but I have not specified to which element it applies. It applies only to the second element. So the index value is one here. And even here, I have to mention the index here. Let me run this cell and we will check the dictionary. So now you can see A contains one, B contains two comma two comma four, but initially we had two comma three comma four. So we have actually subtracted one from the second value of the key B here. So now it prints out two comma two comma four. As simple as that, right? You can change any values. You can also update any values. You can also delete any values. Or you can also add a new key value pair to this existing dictionary. Let's see that. In order to add a new key value pair, you need to give the value of new key. I'll give it as D because we already have A, B and C. I'll assign this as four. 
So if I run this cell, let's check what the dictionary contains now. You can see here a new key value pair has been added, which is D and it contains the value 4. Really simple. This can be a string, list or anything. And now let's move on to a nested dictionary. This is going to be really interesting. I'll name the dictionary object as ASA nested and I will make this a dictionary object by opening a flower braces or a curly braces. And now let's name a key here. I'll call it as A1. So this A1, instead of having a direct value, it has an another dictionary inside it. So I need to create another dictionary here. So this A1 has a dictionary as a value, which is A2. But A2 also has an another dictionary inside it. So I'll create an another dictionary. I'll name it as A3. And now exactly this A3 key has a value associated with it, which is 1. Initially, it will be a bit confusing, but if you separate it out, it will be easy to visualize. A1 has a dictionary inside it and A2 has another dictionary inside it, but A3 has a direct value. So now how do you get the 1 being printed from this nested dictionary? It is going to be really simple. All you have to do is call the dictionary object. Again, open a square bracket. Mention your key name. Your key name is A1 here. Let me run this cell. And now if I print this one, I'll get a dictionary being printed, but I don't want this. I just want to access only the value from the third nested dictionary. So again, I need to open an another square braces and specify my second key. And if you have an another key inside it, just specify it again. And now I am able to access the third nested dictionary key value pair. The key name is A3 and the value is 1. And I am able to fetch 1 from my nested dictionary. It is really simple. This is going to be very useful for you because when you pass a JSON data, even a JSON data will be similar to a key value pair. You will have a lot of keys, lot of nested dictionary. Now to iterate it easily, this concept really helps you. So one should definitely be aware of the nested dictionary concept and how to fetch values from a nested dictionary. And now let's get the list of only keys from a dictionary. It is again just an inbuilt method. We will call our previous dictionary object. And if I give dot, I can get the keys here. And again, this is not a list. This is a dict keys object. In order to make it as a list object, you need to typecast it as a list. I'm able to print only the key values as a list here. This also applies to only values. If you want to print only values from a dictionary, it is again really simple. You need to typecast it as a list and then dictionary dot values. So this will return you only the values from a dictionary object. And hence we are able to print the keys separately and the values separately. As we move on, let's look at two important things which will be really useful for you, which is dictionary comprehension. I'm not going to complicate this one, but let's imagine a dictionary with keys and the values or the cube of that keys. For example, if I have two, the value should be eight. If I have three, the value should be 27. So the value should be the cube of the key here. We are going to do this using the dictionary comprehension, which will come in handy. So again, I will name this dictionary as cube itself. I'll open a curly braces. The key, let's have it as x. To associate a value to this key, we will use colon and x to the power of 3. This is my key and this is my value. And we need to iterate this one for a particular range. Let's have it up to 10. So let's create a for loop here and have our range up to 10. So for x in range of 11, because we are going to save it up till 10. So let's run this cell and if I print this one, you should have the key value pair, which is nothing but our cube numbers. So zero has zero, one has one, two has eight. So we have this dictionary object until 10. So in a single line, we are able to create our dictionary as per our requirement. And how do you iterate a dictionary? This is going to be really useful for you because you will use key value pairs in your programming. So let's iterate a dictionary. So for key and a value in your dictionary object. So I'm going to use our previous dictionary object and we will have items here. So it will iterate for all the items that are present in this dictionary. So I'm going to print both the keys and value. 
So if you want to iterate a dictionary object, you are going to call items. So this will iterate for all the items that are present in your dictionary. So this dictionary, we are going to iterate it and we are going to print keys and value. So let's print it. And hence we are able to iterate a dictionary and we are able to print the key value pairs. So I hope I have covered all the concepts that involves in a dictionary object in Python. To have a quick look back, we have seen how to create a dictionary. We have seen how to access a value from any given key. We have also seen how it involves a list of values or any other data types. And we have seen how to perform arithmetic operations and how to add a new key value pair to an existing dictionary. And then we saw what is a nested dictionary and how to access the value from a nested dictionary. Extracting only the keys from a dictionary or extracting only the values from a dictionary. And we just saw a simple example of a dictionary comprehension and then we saw how to iterate a dictionary object and get its key and value. I hope you all find this video useful. Do give a like and comment your queries. If you have any, I will try to answer all your queries in the comment section. And do check out the other explained in minute series videos. The link to the playlist is given in the description below. And also if you are interested in card magic tricks reveal using Python, we have pro magic series. The link to the same is given in the description below. See you all in another interesting topic. Subscribe to ASA Learning and hit that bell icon. Take a pound.